this is a quick update review on my earlier review about the Brita Hub countertop water filter and I've been using it over a year now and so just going to answer a few questions that I received on it and give an update on how it's still working. It's still working great and I just changed the filter here on the side as needed and I'll show how that's done. And I just wash the water reservoir as needed and rinse it good in the sink before putting it back on. And the operation is really simple. Like this cup fits about 12 ounces, so I just press the 12 ounce button. Hit the middle button and then it will stop. So that's nice. If you miscalculate the amount, you don't have to worry that it's going to overflow. Just press that and it will fill 20 ounces of water. And this lets you know when, if, if you overlook the fact that the water is down the reservoir and it goes on empty, then this will light up to let you know to add water. And this light will turn orange when it's getting near time to replace the filter, but you still have filter life left, so you don't need to replace it yet. It's just to let you know to order the filter. And then when it turns red, then you know it's time to replace the filter. And the water is not chilled. That was one question I received was if it chills the water and it does not, and it plugs into the wall, but that's not for chilling the water, that's just to run the motor to dispense the water. And this part opens, so then you can just fill the water, like use a, a cup, fill the water in here cup by cup, or you can take the whole thing off and fill it under the sink, and then bring it back that way, so that's simple. And this part here is solid, it doesn't open, um, just the side here opens to replace the filter, so easy to keep clean, easy to maintain. This pops off, pops back on, so it's pretty simple operation, like I said, easy to clean. The cleaning is just wipe it down and wash this as needed and change the filter and I just do a quick wipe on the filter housing on the inside. And so far, I like this filter the best. I've tried the Brita and Pure and Cooligan faucet filters, the ones that where you mount them on the faucet, and none of those lasted very long, and the water flow would get really slow, which was aggravating, and sometimes it would be too fast, and it seemed like it wasn't filtering the water at all. And then I also tried uh, water pitcher filters. I uh, tried Brita, Zero Water, um, one other off-brand, I can't think of it at the moment. It took a long time to filter the water through the filter, so you had to plan ahead be sure the pitcher was filled up. For this one, the filtering is instant. You don't have to wait, and you just press the button and it, it starts filling, so I really like that feature. And, and so since this one has already lasted over a year, Whenever it does wear out, I'm just, unless something better comes out, I'm just going to buy another one because it's lasted longer than the pitchers and the faucet mount ones. Eventually, I'd like to get away from plastic. 
but that's just really difficult to to get away from plastic in products but because uh, you have to be sure the metal if you buy metal you have to be sure it's safe too and that it's not going to rust or anything so at least this is all food safe plastic so uh, for now it's the best been the best option for me it's actually the most economical because I don't have to keep replacing the the faucet mount filters that would stop working or break or crack and the water pitchers didn't work really well and as far as the noise I mean it does make noise and but that's expected it runs on a motor so I'll just let it fill up and so you can hear the sound I did this on my earlier review video but just to show it again see it's not that rattly it didn't rattle the plastic cup here on top and so I mean that part wasn't an issue for me other than if somebody's sleeping close by that might disturb them but uh, otherwise not a big deal and it does have a maximum fill line right here it was kind of hard to see so I put an indelible mark right there this is 96 ounce max and there's a line right there so that you know not to fill it beyond that point Right there is 96 ounces, so it has a good capacity. And I have the excess cord wrapped here, so it's quite long, so if you need to put it somewhere further away from the outlet, it's got extra length for that.